A group of engineering students at Coppell High School have worked more than a year to come up with a new device to help special needs students learn. They've earned the right to put it before some of the biggest and brightest minds in the technological innovation field in Boston this summer. And it's only if they could only get there. Fox 4's Melissa Cutler right now in our Dallas newsroom to explain what's holding them back from getting to Boston. Melissa. Well, Steve, you know, simply put, a lack of money. They say there's nothing on the market quite like their invention. They have been chosen to showcase it in front of entrepreneurs and professors at MIT, but they're about $5,000 short and may not be able to go. Here you go. Here, Jokey. The hardest part of Eileen Higgins's job teaching special needs students at Capel High School is keeping track of how well and how fast special needs students like 19-year-old Jokey are learning. Jokey, come here. Jokey. We're going to work on numbers today. She's currently on a pre-K level, but she's too old for the babyish stuff generally used on most computer programs. <laughs> Enter Gateways, a new invention by a select group of juniors and senior engineering students. Kids like Jokey find it entertaining. Teachers like Higgins find it indispensable. It helps so much. I mean, it just, it's dramatically helpful. The unique program allows teachers to tailor it to each student, tracking subtle <laughs> movements, nuances, and advancements in learning, particular to special needs students. So what I'm doing here is I'm tracking how close someone's hand is, or specifically where they are in relation to it. Using motion sensors and eye tracking in the future. This is some really some cutting edge things. They are, and they're using stuff in ways that weren't dreamed of. We have been, they've in fact learned three different programming languages to get this stuff to work. Capel is one of about 35 out of 300 schools nationwide to receive a $10,000 grant from MIT and a chance to attend Eureka Fest at the Ivy League school in June. At MIT there's a great collection of people who know about the current technologies and the environment we're working in and they can provide great insight and notes about the project itself and everything involved. But there's a catch. After all their hard work, they've run into a problem that can't be solved with the push of a button. The students need to raise $5,000 to go. This is a huge thing for us. Um, I, I lose a lot of sleep over it, worrying about Capel will be uh, competing with 14 other schools presenting their inventions. It will be visiting with Microsoft next week, Steve. Okay, Melissa Cutler, thanks.